It's old fashioned to have business cards. You might run out, you might lose it, or the person you give it to might lose it also. So you could add a QR code to your website that people can scan with their phones instead of typing a mistake in the URL. I mean, in the link free project, you can see here, we actually have a QR code icon here. If you click it, it shows the QR code and anyone can scan that with their phone and it will take them to this page. So it's generated for each profile on the link free project. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a QR code with React. It's actually really not that difficult. It's actually quite exciting. And then you can host that and use it on GitHub pages for free. And you can have that URL on your phone, in your browser and, and show it to people. And then they can also scan it and get access to your web page. And to do this, we're gonna use the library QR code React. So let's just get started and let's dive straight in. So the first thing we wanna do is create a new React project. And we can do that with MPX create hyphen react hyphen app and the name of our project we'll call it my qr code let's hit enter now create react app command is going to do our first commit to the project and as i have gpg keys for my signed commit to ask for my password you probably won't get asked for this unless you have it set up and you'll be expecting it also so that's been created it's also giving me some instructions on how to start the the web server and so forth so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clear the terminal i'm going to navigate into my qr code project let's open our friendly id vs code and we can see what we've got here, the usual React project files. So I'm just gonna start the project just to make sure it all works before we do anything else. And we can do that with npm start. Then what we can do in the browser, we can visit localhost 3000 and we can see the app is running. So let's make some changes to that. Let me bring this over here and let's make some changes in VS Code. So the first thing we'll do, let's just clear up some of this really. I don't think we need any of this. Let's just delete it all. And then here I'm going to say, scan my QR code, which we haven't done yet, but I'm also going to hit save. There you go. You kind of got that in the middle of the page. So what we want to do next is in the docs, it will tell us to install the NPM package. So let's go to the command line and let's do that. So we can stop the project for a moment. So we can run the command npm install qr code dot react. And it's going to add that library to our project. Now we've got it. So what we can do is we can start the project up again. If we go back to the project and refresh it, you can see nothing's changed. It's exactly the same. So let's look at the documentation and we can see how to use it. We can use SVG or Canvas. There are pros and cons to both. I won't go into it in this video, but you know, we'll pick one. Let's just pick the SVG. So what we're going to do is we're going to import it into our project. Logo is no longer being imported. So let's remove that, replace it with our QR code dependency. And then we can include the component to the QR code and we can change the values. Included the component, let's reduce this because it's a bit more space. And we're going to change this. This is going to go to um, my URL, which was my link free URL. So I'm going to copy that. Let's go to this and I'm going to put it in here. So now I hit save and on the right, you can see we've got a QR code. It's a bit small. And then if we can simulate what it would look like on a mobile phone, I still think it's a little bit small. But if we enter responsive mode and we pick a phone, I think we can make it bigger. So if we see from the docs, we can actually pass an extra value. So you've got a size here. So let's just pass in size and default is one to eight. Let's double it. Let's put two, five, six. So I hit save go back to the browser and you can see now it's kind of, you know, full screen size of the mobile phone, the iPhone 8 plus as the example that we've uh, got here. So that's pretty good. So people can scan it and it will take them to this URL. So let me prove it to you. So I've gone into camera mode on my phone. You can see this is me look real Hi, not a video or anything. And I just put it on the screen and you can see now here it says the domain at the bottom. So if I click it, it's going to go straight to my website on link free, which this matches this. So it works and we created that really quickly and really easily. It was quite fun to do. And like I said, you could host this for free on GitHub pages and have uh, your GitHub URL that you could then just use on your phone and share it with people to go to any URL you want. And the great thing about going to the link free project is I have all my other URLs there as well. I have my Twitter, my YouTube, etc., and so forth. And we even have milestones and we're going to add testimonials soon. 
I mean, you can even make this offline. So if you haven't got internet, you could even do it as a PWA. Oh, you've given me an idea for uh, the Linkfree project. We should work on that together. Yes, thank you so much for the idea. That was great. To conclude, getting a QR code on your project is really straightforward. And you could do it for various things. Like I said, it removes the need for a business card. You can also do it for some of your products. If people want to share products with friends, they can uh, just show the product and they can scan it. There's just so many things you can do at events. People are using it for badges and all sorts of things. Come and geek out with us in the open source Eddie Hub community. Link in description below. We chat on Discord between live streams and videos. I'll see you there.